In this video, we will explore some applications of modified starches in the food industry. Starch is a major source of carbohydrate in the human diet. We have it every day. Examples of starchy food include potatoes, wheat, rice and tapioca. Native starches have limited use in the food industry due to various disadvantages like thermal instability, poor shear and a tendency to retrograde, sceneresis and gel. What can we do? To overcome these hurdles, native starches are modified by physical or chemical means to change their properties. Physical modifications include extrusion, spray drying, grinding, heating or deep freezing. While chemical modifications include acetylation, hydrolysis, oxidation or cross-linking. Let's start with the applications of modified starches where they are used as fat replacers. In cookies, improved polydextrose can be used to replace up to 35% of fat keeping sensory and textural properties acceptable. Mmm, yummy! A reduced fat version of a Brazilian made cheese called Minas Fresh Cheese was found to be dry, hard and dense. Not something you want in your cheeses, believe me. Octanyl succinylated waxy maize starch was able to increase the moisture content which improved the overall quality. And a great low-fat mayonnaise product can be made with oat dextrin. When oat starch is treated with alpha amylase enzyme, you get oat dextrin. Texture improvers Texture is usually that part of food which could be felt with fingers, tongue, or teeth, highlighting its uses. Bread making Chemically modified starch is seen to be of greater use in bread making. Hydroxypropylated unacetylated tapioca starches when substituted with native starch in the floor gives a tacky texture to the bread crumb. Phosphorylated cross-linked tapioca starch gives a dry feel. Cross-linked cornstarch was seen to improve the stability of the dough. Cross-linked hydroxypropylated potato starch when incorporated gives a softer crumb than the native starch. Crispy snacks In case of breakfast cereal, the kind of modified starch used is either high amylose or cross-linked cornstarch which gives the desired crispiness crunchy texture required. In French fries, high amylose starch or dextrin is used in the batter preparation. Canned food In case of cheese, canned food, highly cross-linked, stabilized waxy maize is the modified starch used which gives smooth or flowable texture. Other combination is highly cross-linked, Stabilized stent and waxy maize, which gives smooth and cuttable texture. Baked goods. Resistant starch is the type of modified starch used in baked goods such as cake like muffins. Making use of this modified starch imparts a favorable tenderness to the crumb. Coming to the nutritional claim. Resistant starch is known to occur naturally in whole grains, in legumes, in rice and unripe bananas which is considered to be known as dietary fiber. These starches are added to foods for health benefits and they are classified as functional fiber under the American Association of Cereal Chemists. This has gained awareness among the consumers which concerns the relationship between food, lifestyle and health and has been the reason for popularity of food that is rich in fibre. 
based on the observations, resistant starch is known to have a positive impact on colon health and is also known to decrease colonic epithelial atrophy and may play a role in management of diabetes. Nowadays, interest has been created among product developers and nutritionists because of physiological benefits and unique functional properties that yields high quality products. Few of the applications that have been used in the food products are slow digestible cookies in which the banana starch used helps in the slow release of carbohydrate which results in reduced caloric and glycemic requirements. One of the other product which has been used is muffin in which the resistant starch was known to improve the quality of muffins. The elasticity property was known to be enhanced in its presence unlike me. Coming to the pasta products, the glycemic response might be developed by addition of different resistant starch to products which may have different effects on the quality parameters of pasta. There has been studies which have proven that loss of cooking can also be prevented. I will be talking about high temperature modified starches. Stages such as gelatinization, pasting, retrogradation are attained at a specific temperature and time that is best suited for the product. It has been observed that water absorption in starches which results in swelling. The best example for this is change of uncooked spaghetti and cooked spaghetti. The gelatinized temperature is determined by the number of hydrogen bonds in the modified starches and there is more tendency of gel formation when the amylase and amylopectin ratio is more than 50 percentage. The main function of modified starch is to thicken and stabilize the food products which is mainly found in mayonnaise and salad dressings. These starches play a role in increasing the shelf life up to 12 months which allow to keep the products in the cool temperature. Starch based dairy products contain formulated milk, modified starches as thickeners, sucrose, aroma and colorants. Modified starches play major role in gelatinating, thickening and stabilize the product. The cooking of modified starch help us to get the desired texture of the desserts. Modified starch acts as gelatinization agent in cheese and it can reduce the usage amount of casein and the product cost. It increases the shelf life up to 12 months and give, gives the product a creamy texture. Modified starches act as a thickening agent in yogurt and help to reduce the isolation of whey protein. Various types of macrocapsules are prepared from natural polymers such as gum, arabic, agar, starch, wax, paraffin, casein and gelatin. Falling ice uses flavor encapsulation of oils. In the presence of air, light, moisture and heat, generally most flavor components in food are chemically unstable. To overcome these problems, microencapsulation is used. It is a process in which tiny particles are surrounded by a coating to give small capsules of many useful properties. It is used to incorporate food ingredients, enzymes, cells. Second, volatile meat flavor encapsulation. A study was conducted on native starches isolated from corn and barley and the modified counterparts were tested for the microencapsulation capabilities using several synthetic chemical flavors. Beta cyclodextrin, which is a widely used wall material in the microencapsulation of essential oils or flavors, was also put as a sample. Four different types of flavors were also selected. From this study, it was concluded that all starches were effective in encapsulating and maintaining a volatile flavor mixture containing roasted chicken flavor. Third, spices only raisins. Oleoraisins are the solvent extracts of a spice containing both volatile 
and non-volatile components. Microencapsulation protects the oleoresin against destructive changes, also protects the flavors from undesirable interaction with food. Emulsifying starches and gums, especially gum acacia, are the most common carrier materials. In a study conducted, it was concluded that the same combination ratio of arabic gum, maldextrin and modified starch blend proved to be efficient for the encapsulation of cardamom oleoresin.